Hello everyone! Today's episode of Tinkering with Terrius is going to be a bit holiday themed. The project for this episode is DIY Christmas tree lights. So we have a small Christmas tree this year and I was asked if I could make a string of lights for it. So I decided to build an Arduino controlled string of RGB LEDs. For our particular tree I'm going to be using 12 15 foot lengths of wire. Now we're using 12 lengths of wire because there are going to be three strings of 10 LEDs each. 15 feet of wire gives us enough to wrap around the tree three times. So we're going to need 30 common anode RGB LEDs, which will be spaced to roughly every six inches on the string. You can use common cathode LEDs, but the Arduino code will be completely different. We're also going to need 30 standard 40 millimeter white ping pong slash table tennis balls an Arduino Uno which can be powered by USB, a hot glue gun, and something I forgot to include in the shot here is heat shrink. You will need quite a bit of heat shrink tubing. The first things we need to do are cut down the wires to the correct length and then strip them and twist them if you're using stranded wire like I am. And then finally pre-tin the wires to make soldering them a little bit easier for the LEDs. I recommend making a template wire and you can use this wire to measure all of the other wires so that you can maintain roughly the same length for all of them. I tape the template wire to my bench as flat as I can so that the cuts are as even as possible. We need to cut all of the wires to their correct length. I recommend keeping them sorted by color. I have red, green, black, and yellow wires. It is time to prepare the LEDs. To do that we are going to bend the legs so that the shared anode and blue cathode are bent off to one side and the red and green cathodes are bent off in the opposite direction. We will eventually have to bend them all back to the same direction but this makes it a lot easier to solder the initial wires. You'll also want to pre-tin the LED leads but I didn't record that. Now we're going to make the first three LEDs. These ones don't have any other LEDs connecting to them, so they are the end of the strings. It's very important to heat shrink the legs since they are so close together it's extremely easy to short them out and cause issues. So definitely make sure you put heat shrink on here. Next we are going to solder all of the wires to the LEDs so when we're assembling things it is all pre-attached.
Now it's time to start building the string. We start with the three end LEDs. We want to connect these together using hot glue and heat shrink. I tape the first LED to the tape measure and then secure the second one at 6 inches and third at 12 inches. This sets up the strings of LEDs for the staggering so that all of the future LEDs are in the correct position. An optional step you can take is to attach all of the leads from the LEDs to a prototype board and then attach those to male header pins to make it easier to attach to the Arduino Uno. Here is the finished string running the Arduino code. The code is a simple fade sketch. It cycles each of the three strings of lights through red, 
yellow, green, cyan, blue, and magenta. The code is relatively simple and it's just a modified version of the fade sample code. It's essentially the fade sample code but with a few nested loops in there in order to run the different colors each loop. Now we need to make the diffusers. So for the diffusers we are going to take a ping pong ball and cut a small cross into the bottom. You can see on the ping pong balls there is a line that goes all the way around the outside of them. This is where the two halves of the ball are joined in manufacturing. I like to make sure that that's around the middle of the ball so that there isn't a line going right across the top of the ping pong ball when the LED is lit inside. If you can't find blank ping pong balls you can use fine grit sandpaper to buff off the writing or label if you want. I find the writing and label look terrible so I definitely do that. Then we insert an LED into the center of the cross. This will create an opening that will keep the ping pong ball snugly attached to the lights. Repeat this for the other 29 ping pong balls. Now you simply attach the ping pong balls by popping them onto the LEDs. And the string is complete. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tinkering with Terrius. If you did like this episode, don't forget to like and share it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below, or you can email them to me or tweet them to me. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.